Hi, I'm Carl Greb from the TMS 570 Systems Engineering Team, and I'm here today to provide a brief introduction to functional safety. Functional safety is a field which combines aspects of quality, reliability, and systems engineering to implement advanced risk management techniques in electrical and electronic systems. A functionally safe system requires the correct operation of equipment in response to its inputs, real-time detection of failure conditions, and online management of failure states. The key objective is avoidance of the unacceptable risk of physical injury, whether caused directly or indirectly, via damage to property or the environment. Functional safety standards differ per application based on industry best practices and degree of acceptable risk. For example, an acceptable failure in an industrial assembly line may be totally unacceptable in an aviation environment. The IEC 61508 standard is generally seen as the mother standard, which provides an application and industry-independent framework for functional safety. These standards include guidelines for enhanced development procedures, hardened system architectures, and application of real-time diagnostic measures to detect and manage failure. There are many potential applications for functional safety techniques and products. Examples include industrial, medical, and transportation. Due to a number of recent, highly publicized safety issues in multiple industries, functional safety is becoming much more visible to the public. This trend will only increase as electronics continue to increase in complexity, continue to migrate closer to our persons, and ultimately pervade all aspects of our daily lives. Developing a product for functional safety application requires application of measures to manage both systematic and random faults. Systematic faults are those which are deterministic. They have definite cause, are repeatable, and can be reduced to a rate approaching zero. Control of systematic failures is managed through rigorous application of best practices similar to those used to ensure quality and reliability. Random faults are non-deterministic faults inherent to a system application. We cannot reduce the probability of random failure. We must instead focus on real-time detection and management of the failure modes in the system design. The TMS 570 product line is designed with measures to manage both systematic and random failures. The functional safety experts at Exeta have performed a thorough assessment of the TMS 570 product against the IEC 61508 standard. Exeta found the TMS 570 suitable for use in safety integrity level 3 systems, the highest level of safety possible for a component design. The TMS 570 device architecture has been designed from the ground up to simplify development of functional safety systems. The basic architectural concept is what we call a safe island approach. Power, clock, reset, and basic processing function, including memories, are protected to a high level of diagnostic coverage via hardware mechanisms. The hardware diagnostic mechanisms provide the confidence necessary to allow this logic to execute combined hardware, software, and application level diagnostic functions. Some key features of the Safe Island region are onboard voltage and reset monitoring logic, onboard oscillator and PLL failure detection logic, including a backup RC oscillator which can be utilized upon failure, a dual core lockstep processing solution built around ARM's Cortex R4F CPU, which detects failures at the core boundary on a cycle by cycle basis, special measures in processor layout, clock distribution, power distribution reset distribution, and temporal diversity are all implemented to ensure a common cause failure does not affect the logical CPU and its checker. Hardware BIST controllers, which provide an extremely high level of diagnostic coverage for the lockstep CPUs and SRAMs in the system, while both executing faster and consuming less memory footprint than the equivalent software-based solutions. ECC on the SRAM and flash memories tightly coupled to the R4F. The ECC controllers are located inside the CPU. This approach has two key advantages. Proper operation of ECC logic is checked on a cycle-by-cycle -cycle basis, and the interconnect between CPU and memory utilized in the transaction is also covered by the diagnostic. The TMS 570 architecture also includes many features to simplify diagnostics of remaining logic, such as continuous parity diagnostics on all peripheral memories, analog and digital loopback to test for opens and shorts on I.O., hardware self-test and diagnostic on the ADC module to check integrity of both analog inputs and the ADC core conversion function, a DMA-driven hardware engine for the background calculation of CRC signatures, a centralized error reporting function including status indication output for external monitoring of the TMS 570, failure rates, diagnostic efficiencies, and conditions of use for TMS 570 implementation are fully documented by TI to simplify the job of the safety system integrator. 
When taken together, the systematic and random failure management methods applied to the TMS-570 product allow system designers to rapidly and easily develop functional safety applications while optimizing system build material costs. Additional general information can be found at www.ti.com slash TMS-570. Please contact your local TI sales office for more information on detailed safety documentation and deliverables available under non-disclosure agreement. Thank you for your time, as well as your interest in functional safety and the TMS-570 product line.